Well, it turns out a local psychologist calls on men in this country to take a long, hard look at their approach to breakups. The psychologist says the average man's need to open up more about his feelings at the end of a relationship needs to change. Peter Christopher has more. Men need to open up more about their feelings. This was the call of local psychologist Daryl Joseph, who believes many recent murders stemming out of domestic disputes are born out of poor coping techniques by men across the country. He says in general, men in Trinidad are far less willing to seek help in the aftermath of a breakup or infidelity. He says the effects of rejection in these cases serve as a multiple blow to the male psyche. The average male sees a relationship as one of the symbols of status. He sees his perceived virility and his level of attractiveness towards the opposite sex as a symbol of his status. So when he's rejected, when a relationship is ended, when his partner goes with somebody else or rejects him, it's not just as simple as, okay, you were mine and now you're gone somewhere else. It is a very deep personal rejection. It is a rejection of the person of the man in total. A lot of men these days are not prepared to handle that. Mr. Joseph says the growing prominence of women in society has also proved a challenge for men. He says because of this shift in mentality by women, men are faced by new frustrations that they aren't used to handling. Uh, I mean, we all know that um, women have made strides, huge strides, in terms of independence, in terms of equality. A lot of men would have grown up in their homes not seeing that happening between mother and father. So it is something that you're experiencing as time goes by. And a lot of men are not quite prepared to deal with it. And herein lies the problem according to the psychologist. He says the continued avoidance of these problems leads to gradual frustrations which often escalates to violence. That men really, really are not looking after themselves. Really not taking the time to evaluate where they are, what's happening, how stressed out you are, how you're managing with life and with all the different challenges you have and so forth. And again, allowing that volcano to build, 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 build to the point where it explodes. Okay. Mr. Joseph says the wider crime situation is also born out of pent-up frustrations. He says the level of inequality and frustration needs to be addressed if serious crime is to see a decline. Peter Christopher, C News.